South Sudan's opposition leader Reik Machar will not be returning to Juba to form a transitional government with President Silva Kiir on Monday. Machar has postponed his meeting with the president due to logistical issues. He was fired as vice president after Kiir accused him of plotting a coup in 2013. That led to a conflict which has killed more than 50,000 people and displaced millions of people. Well, TRT World's Fidelis Emba joins me now for more on the South Sudan peace agreement. Fidelis, um, why has Machar postponed this visit? Well, his uh, spokesman uh, came out just a few hours ago to say, you know, that for logistical reasons that they have, he's been postponed. But again, you ask, what are these reasons? Because Rick Machar has been in the country for some days, but he's in the rebel-controlled area of the, of the country. He's not arrived in the capital city, Juba. Um, there were, you know, allegations or rather claims by his supporters that uh, uh, some of his campaign billboards were destroyed by people in Juba. And that's, that's actually one of the main reasons why he's not coming. This is actually sort of a big disappointment for many people who were hoping that if he comes today and takes office as the vice president, which was his former office, then we can start talking about peace finally returning to South Sudan. Okay, logistical problems aside, yeah. uh, put this into context for us. How important is it for these two leaders to be coming together and talking about a future? Well, since 2013, the country has been at war. You know, uh, Rick Machard, since he was being kicked out, rather kicked, you know, kicked out, so to speak, as vice president, he fled the country. And for two years, his supporters took up arms, and this has resulted in the displacement of uh, over, you know, over two million people. Tens of thousands have been killed, and you know, right now they are suffering humanitarian crisis, food crisis. Uh, some of the oil platforms in the country have been damaged, and this has greatly affected the country's economy. So, them coming together will, first of all, restore peace to South Sudan. Some of the people who are displaced will now see the reason to go back to their, to their places. And then also the economy can gradually start to pick up again. Okay. We thank you for that analysis. Then there's always the question is, can they get along? Well, we hope. We'll see. All right, Fidel, thank you.